2020, is it over yet? In so many ways, a year to forget. Schools closed, offices shut, children at home, parents stuck in a rut. Empty pitches, chained up playgrounds, gyms, courts, pools, all out of bounds. Wimbledon off, the Olympics on hold, this year no bronze, silver, gold. A global crisis, a world interrupted. Countries, counties, communities, lives disrupted. As lockdown took hold, sporting habits unravelled. Though many a journey now actively travelled. Walking, cycling, running kept us moving. So too home workouts keeping us grooving. And through it all, a new appreciation. A connection to one another across the nation. Empathy, love, we're all in this together. Rainbows shining brightly whatever the weather. Joe Wicks, the NHS, Captain Tom, raising our spirits with no little aplomb. In Cambridgeshire and Peterborough, our own local Joes, going above and beyond, you are our heroes. In August, the living sport team stood tall, with incredible challenges one and all. Thousands raised, it was the least we could do to lead by example, to say thank you. And now, with restrictions still toing and froing, let's do all that we can to keep each other going. Because slowly, eventually, life will return. As it does, we shall ask ourselves, what did we learn? To walk or cycle, perhaps, journeys previously driven, to value this world and the life we are given to be kinder to one another as well as ourselves, to revisit those dreams we'd left on the shelves. That in the face of uncertainty and disaster, the role of sport has never been vaster. Health, happiness, love and connection, sport and activity give us direction. Though still we may wonder how much longer, when all is said and done, we will come back stronger. So as we reflect on the year this December, perhaps after all it was one to remember. <laughs>